If you've ever taken a look at my channel, you might have noticed that it says Tech, Gaming, and More. And I have tech videos and uh, there's some gaming videos too, but today we're doing more. This is my 2003 Lexus IS300. It's a factory 5-speed manual with the LSD. I have it on BC Racing, BR Coilovers, got an HPS short ram, cold air intake, Mishimoto radiator, uh, BN style KBD body kit. If we turn around back, we got the LED tail lights. Custom axle back exhaust done by a uh, rocket build. And, and uh, we got the stock wheels on right now, but that's changing today. We're putting the putting the big boys on, and uh, the big boys are right in there. So let's whip them out. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen, the Workmeister. S2Rs. It's a two piece work wheel. It's very similar looking to the VSSS, although that's the three piece version. These wheels sent me back 600 bucks a while ago, even with the Pilot Sport 4S tires. So, yeah, I basically killed someone for these. The specs are 18 by 8 in the front plus 45, 18 by 9 in the rear, plus 55, I think. If I got them wrong, it's actually this. But these wheels aren't in the most incredible shape, but they get the job done, and they're real. We're gonna have to clean these bad boys up before we slap them on. Uh, so, waiting for the boys to get here so we can begin. Also, quick little tidbit, I'm going to try to run these with my spacers. Uh, this was my first winter running spacers on the stock wheels, and the fitment looks way better, so I'm going to see if I can use these spacers with these wheels to get an even more flush fitment. So, we got, oh, there you can't fucking see. BC Racing, we got the spacer on, and we are just barely not robbing. It's perfect. There's like, it's less than an inch gap. Dude, and we can lower it more. Yeah. I think we could go down like two centimeters. Oh, we could go down. We could go down. Oh, Let's see how it looks straight now. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. 
death is crazy, too. Yeah, that that's sick. All right, so we got side one complete with this meaty track fitment, as Louie was saying. But now we're having trouble getting this rear wheel off. So, oh yeah, we cambered out, boys. Camber gang for life. Fatty scope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's aggressive. We've got a finger gap here. What's it like on the other side? Yeah. Oh no, it's because of the tires flat. <laughs> All right, time to put the last wheel on this bad boy. Moment of truth. She need to sit a little bit. True. Update. Update. That tire is flat, so we need to go put air in it. Gonna go on an adventure. Leo's walking the work wheel right now. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to transport it in the worst vehicle ever created. But sometimes, you know, dire situations, you know. Oh, scoot deadly. Oh, you got it with one hand? Yep. With the camera! Oh! Over the screen. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> We've rocked up to the Shellington. Yeah. Boy. Oh, you're gonna do great in the ravines tonight. Let's not have a flashback to last time. <laughs> Spin around and smack the curve. 
That's what I did. Yeah, yeah. I, last time, one time, last year, I was driving the ravines and I spun out, did a complete 180, ended up in the other lane, smashed the curb. Yeah, the photos. I snapped my subframe. Baller. Oh, yeah. Time to lower the final corner. We went and put air in the tire. Not too bad. What? What's the... Leo, explain to the fine people of YouTube what you just did to save this wheel. I have no idea. It's probably stuck. With the brake on the drum right here, and it was not stuck up here. So when you release it, I can move it. <sighs> Show them the bend, not the bend. It'll go back to normal. Womp womp. It'll go back to normal. Okay, it's so it's poly. Yeah. Because so the the wheel the got right stuck here. on the brake, and so we couldn't fit the key for uh, the lug nuts in, and we thought the wheel was stuck. But but Leo. Knew it was a break thing. Good boy. Good boy. Good Lexus Leo. Jolly okay, good now, show. We can, now we can measure it. Now we measured our ride height. We want to match this ride height all, all around. So we're going to measure from. From the two cups. Seven and a half. Easy math. All right, let's whip this bad boy back on. Yo, we had a professional coilover technician. Whoa! <laughs> oh, whoa! Yeah, Jackson, fill us in on how you fixed this, uh, this catastrophe. Well, first he had to hydrate the jack. Then we came oh. over here. Yeah. The good stuff. Moment of truth. Holy shit! Shit! It's tucked in a lot. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, actually good. Is it one finger? Yeah. Yeah. No. Go back. Turn back. Yeah. No. I think you're good. Honestly. Let's get the chocolate soup. No! It's perfect! It like... It's just hairline. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that looks the right real quick. Yeah, now with the cake, it really accentuates the meat. <laughs> accentuates the meat. Look at that angle! Look at it! It's perfect! It's perfect? I like to hear that. The front is fine. The front is me. We are now working on the other side, gonna get it lowered again. So guys, basically, if I can focus. That top part is chill, but we want the bottom collar to have no threads under it. We want all the threads above. And in order to get that, we need to turn this top collar counterclockwise until there's no more threads on the bottom. And Leo, is it fun? Not at all. Well, boys, we did it. We did it. Finger. Finger. Yeah, I'll do it. Finger. Finger. We're gonna take her out. See how it go. We finished up a bit too late last night. It was dark, so couldn't get any shots of the finished product. But here it is. And I couldn't be happier with it, honestly. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Get up. 
having to raise the fronts about two centimeters because we were tucking the tire way too much and uh, it would not turn. But that's good fitment. Come to the back. That's good fitment. It fills out the kit really well now too. The, the little side blade on the bumper lines up perfectly with the edge of the tire. So I mathed the offsets perfectly. That 20 mil spacer did a great job. Rubbing is minimal. Hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Let me know if you wanna see more car content. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and more tech videos will be on the way, as well as car videos. So stay tuned, thanks for watching.